Hello teachers, my name is Carla Calderon. In a previous video, I showed you how to add a level reader from Radiant A2C into Seesaw, and I asked you guys to stay away from the horizontal books. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix this and add them into Seesaw. But I do have to say it is a lot of extra work, but if you guys are still willing to do it, then continue to watch this video. Let's begin by downloading the single-sided PDF file. I tried the other ones, and this is the best way to do it. Once it's downloaded, make sure you open it. So this is where the problem comes in, in which you see the pages that are upside down. The best way that I found to fix this is by you taking a screenshot of your screen. And what I like to do is I like to zoom in on the picture as much as I can. So that when I trim the sides and stretch it out, it won't lose the quality of the pictures. If you're using a Mac, these are the keys that you need to press on in this order. And then you have to select the image. Now, if you're using a Dell or an HP like I am, then you need to click on these in this order. You will then create a new Google slide. And because I'm using an HP computer, I'm just going to click Control V and this will paste the image that I screenshot. If you are using a Mac, you're going to have to go to insert image and find the image that you last screenshot. I will then select on the image and click on this crop button. Now I'm going to crop all around. And what I like to do is I like to get as much of the white out since my Google slide is already going to be white. See, so it looks this way. And then now I stretch out the image and of course try to center it. So that way it looks better. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing with all the images until I get to the point in which the other one is upside down. So let me speed up the process. So now that I'm on this page, which is upside down, I'm just going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to screenshot it and then take it to Google slide. And then now I'm going to click on the image and go to format options. And then here you can just rotate it and then you will just repeat the same thing. Just crop it all around, stretch out the image and center it. I will now work on the other pages until I get towards the end. So that way I can show you guys how you can upload it to Seesaw. Once you're done, you can save this into a PDF file to do so. Go to file, download PDF. I'm going to open it so that way you guys can see the new file you created and ta-da, you see it's perfect. Now let's take it into Seesaw. Now, once you're in Seesaw, I know you can also get it from your Google Drive. I personally like to save my files on my computer and then upload it to Seesaw. At this point, it's your preference if you rather use your Google Drive or if you want to save it and then upload it from your computer. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.